What's up, you guys? Today I want to talk about God. Um, I have been thinking about God. I mean, I always think about God. But I've been thinking about God a lot for the past few days. Um, and I've just been thinking about... If he's really, really real. And I guess, um, yeah, what I want to talk about about God is how I don't want to just have all the arguments together that God is real. I really, I mean, I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I want is to experience God and just truly know him and know that it's him in the spiritual realm because um, a lot of times I think about we primarily just live in the physical you know and when we're born we primarily just see things in the physical and like we live in the physical um, while well, I believe that the spiritual is real um, and I don't I don't want to just have all these arguments together for God and base my relationship with him off of that like off of just logically coming to a conclusion. I want to experience God and just have like a knowing that he's real and I want to interact with him like I do with any other person. Um so yeah, I have like just my whole life like come up with a whole bunch of different reasons for him to be real and stuff like that. Um and arguments and explanations and whatever. Um, but it's like, I just, I don't really care about all that. Like, um, I just, I want to, I want it to be something that's super real. Um, and that brings up another thing. It's like, I don't know why God seems to hide, um, it's like, I believe that God is real, and I believe that there are really good arguments for God being real, and um, for um, like the historicity of Jesus and his life, um, and yeah, I just believe that God is real, but it's like, I believe that, and I've come to a strong conclusion about it based on like strong evidence but then who cares if you don't really know him and are and like can really experience him so it, like the past I don't know like the past day I guess just like today and last night and stuff I was like okay like I really believe in Jesus and I believe in God but even if you are even if you're like um you see all the evidence and everything and you're like, dude, Jesus is totally real and this spiritual being that is just always with you, you know? And um, God is totally real. Like, just, he's real, you know? You're totally convinced. But what does it matter if you can't talk with him and reach out to him and know him? Um, and so, um, it's just like, I'm dealing with, like, why does God seem to hide from us or, like, make it difficult to, um, access him? And I've heard the different arguments, like, he wants us to come after him, but that just doesn't seem to, um, seem to coincide with God being, um, all-loving and all-powerful. Like, if he's all-loving and all-powerful, if I were to create a universe and I was all loving and all powerful and I created beings that I wanted to love, then I would make myself known to them and I would make it obvious that I'm real. Um, and the argument that like we're supposed to go after him um, so that he knows like we really choose him or whatever, like that doesn't seem like love to me. Like, if I selflessly love someone, then I'm not going to care if they love me back. I'm going to keep pursuing them. 
And so for God, the most loving being, to not pursue us and make himself known to us and instead want to know that we genuinely love him, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so, um, those are some of the things that, um, I've been just dealing with and questioning. Um, so yeah, like, I don't, I don't care about coming to all the conclusions and whatever. Um, I want to actually know him and experience him because he's the creator of the universe and we're in relationship with him. And if he's the ultimate reality in life, then having a relationship with him is just going to like show up in your life. And it's going to be like, oh, that guy, that person obviously knows God. Um, and it's going to be something super real. Um, it's not going to be like, like, honestly, I feel like it's not going to be like a blind thing or like a, just a, just a faith, like. If God is reality, then it's going to show up in our physical reality, you know? Um, and of course, he's a spiritual being and we're physical, but like God is all powerful. Why would he make a world where the two realms or whatever can't cross over into each other if he really loves us? Like if I really loved the beings that I created, then I would cross over into um, their realm and show them that I love them. Like, even if we're in different realms, even if we're um, different kinds of beings, like, why would he create a world where he can't show himself in in the other realm? And of course he can, but like, why doesn't he show himself more? Um, so, that's kind of what I've been uh, thinking about. Um, it's like, if he's all loving, why is he not more personal or why doesn't he pursue um, more often? And, um, yeah, he's just, uh, <laughs> his nature is all loving, but um, sometimes he just seems elusive or like he's hiding from us. Um, and so I just think it would be so much easier in my life and in other people's lives if God just made himself, uh, more accessible and it's just so confusing to me. I don't understand it. And I think a lot of people say as well, like, well, we're human beings. We'll never really understand like everything about how God works, but like, Oh man, that, um, that's like, it kind of seems like a cop out, you know, like there's gotta be a good answer for it. Um, and if you think about like, you know, like different cults, things that are, um, really messed up and obviously, um, they spread a lot of lies to the community, to their communities and things like that. Um, like, cults will keep telling you these lies and keep you, um, brainwashed, um, to believe these weird things, whatever. Um, and they'll say, you know, to just blindly believe in this person, blindly follow this person, whatever. And, um, not to compare, um, like, Christian belief to that kind of thing. But you always want to think for yourself just no matter what. Like, you don't want anyone to be manipulating your emotions or anything like that and, um, make you feel guilty about, um, questioning things for yourself. Um, so, like, when people, um, answer questions about God with the Bible, um, and say, well, this, this verse says this about this, like, it's just like, you need to step away from the entire thing, you know, like, everyone knows this, like, um, you can't use the Bible to prove the Bible, you know, um, you need to step out of the entire thing and question everything about it. Um, but <clears throat> so like when people say that, um, God works in mysterious ways or like 
we won't fully know everything or you just have to have faith or whatever. Um, it's like, you got to step outside of all of that and like find it, like find the, the real truth and the real reality of it. Um, and not just blindly keep going in, in the beliefs or whatever. Um, so it's like, yeah, I've been stepping outside of all of it and, um, trying to find, um, just like that ultimate truth and I want I want God to just show up spiritually somehow um, to me to where I know he's real where I'm just so convicted that he's real um, but yeah it just seems like God hides in and I don't really know why so um, comment below like why you think that is um, that God just seems hidden sometimes um, it's weird to me because I have, I have the arguments and the conclusions and whatever, like in my head. And then it's like, okay, like, where do I go with this? Um, and like, how do I, how do I speak with him and know him? Like, um, I wish I didn't have to make a huge argument for everything. I wish he would just show himself to me because it'd be so much easier and it seems like it would be consistent with his character to be all loving, you know. Um, so, those are some of the things um, I've been thinking about, about God. Yeah.